I'm sharing a bit of CSS code that's going to allow you to kind of have a scrollable effect on a text box like what you see here right now. The code for that came from a website. You can see the link to that in the description. I hope you go ahead and have a look at it. This is basically a text editor. Literally, that's all it is. Look, and on purpose, I've just, I mean, look, I'm just going to take loads of text and let's just add some more in. Loads and loads of text. And if you've got a section on your page where it starts to look like text overload, you could add a scrolling effect like this to the page. So if we just view this like that, can you see it? Right. The beauty about this CSS vote is that it is transparent as well, by the way. So you could make this black bit here be invisible. So fully transparent. So there's no color. You can make it white, black, blue, red, whatever color you want. And you could add a bit of transparency to it as well. That's just normal hex coding. But the great bit is this bar here. Now, the code for this is so simple. It literally is just a text editor. If I go to advanced, all I've done is given it a bit of padding. Like if I take this padding away, can you see how the text now is right up against close to the scroll bar? So I've added in a bit of padding just to move it away. And all you do is drop in CSS code. So let me show you that. Now I am using Elemental Pro so I can use the custom CSS. If you don't have Elemental Pro, you could stick this into your theme customizer CSS bit or even into code snippets. Just make sure though that where I've put the word selector, you would go over to your layout and for this text editor, you might give it a name. So let's say we're gonna call it um, uh, radio, which is a really stupid name to call this, but let's call it radio. I would then go over here and this when I add the code in to you know your customized CSS, I would have the word radio in. So let me just get rid of all of that for now and get rid of radio here. So let's just go back to the code we've added in. Here it is. Maximum height 200. Well, if I was to go with and make this be a 500, can you see what it does? So that now allows you to control, well, how high will this be? Um, don't forget, though, if you want to make a different height for your mobile, you would use at media, you know, minimum uh, height or whatever width. Sorry, minimum width is 500 pixels or anything like that. So you could modify it to be different for your mobile, but you might find this works fine. I'm going to leave this as 200. You can see the settings there. This is the key one though. So the WebKit scroller is 15 pixels. If I was to go in and make this be 150, you can basically now see what it's doing. We have a much bigger scroll bar. If I made it be, well, well let's just go for something a bit small, like a five, you have a much smaller one. I quite like 15. I think 20, even 18 could work as well, but we're gonna go with 15 like that. Then we have the colors. This is the color of the uh, the scroll bar, the track. So if I get rid of the th numbers 33 here, I have a solid black line. By me adding 33, I get um, a bit more transparency. If you're unsure about transparency colors, just go over here, right? Go to site settings, go to global colors, pick a color, and then just do the transparency and you'll get what the hex code is for that. And then the other color is what is the actual color of the thumb. So right at the minute, I've got like a uh, a pinkish color, pink, red, kind of the web squadron color. If I was to go for 0000FF, I'm going to get a blue color or green or white, but you put in whatever hex code you want to put in. And that is a really simple way of adding some scrollable text with a scroll bar, if you so wish. Doesn't suit everyone's user experience or the layout of their page, but just imagine if you've got, say, a team page and you're showing five people on the page and they've got massive bios, you might just want to make the most important stuff visible. And if people want to go in and read a bit more, they can just do that, right? But it's, it, you know, it, it works and it's easy and free to do. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.